Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here representing ppccourse.com and I want to answer a question and give you a resource that I think will be really valuable for you. It's basically my tools of the trade that I use for managing PPC campaigns. Now, I teach a lot of people how to run Google AdWords campaigns, how to be more efficient, and one of the questions people have is, what tools can I use to also make me more efficient? And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of some of my favorite tools of the trade for the PPC business. So stick around to learn about our favorite PPC tools and make sure you visit our PPC tools page to see all these tools in action. Let's talk about PPC tools. So you have your fundamentals in place. Now this is gonna be a shameless plug, but the reason why you have your fundamentals in place is because you took my PPC course, right? Well, maybe it's not that shameless. I do teach a lot of the fundamentals in my PPC course. But regardless of how you've learned how to become a strategic PPC manager, you want to become more efficient. You want to become more efficient with management, more efficient with the results you deliver, and you want to save hours every single week. And how do you do that? How do you save multiple hours every single week so you can be more efficient with the results that you deliver? Tools and automation. You need to have tools and you need to have some kind of automation in place if you want to become more efficient. There's only so many things we can do. There's only so many buttons we can click before we either break down or we just run out of time in the day to deliver the results that we want to deliver. So here are 10 tools that can save you time and generate better results for your campaigns. And we are going to count down these things David Letterman style. Now you might be wondering to yourself, who is David Letterman? And that probably means that you're under 30 years old and you probably know him best as just this old guy with a beard. But he used to have this really awesome nightly segment called his top 10 list. People would look forward to it, watch it every single night to see what his top 10 list was. And it was hilarious. It was really a really fun way to summarize what was happening in pop culture and current events. Now this video probably won't be hilarious because we are talking about PPC tools after all. There's not a lot of fun in PPC tools, although I find this fun. And you probably find it fun if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, but it's not funny. Well, maybe it is. We'll see if we can work some humor into here as we go along. Okay, let's get into the tools and let's talk about 10 PPC tools that you can use to become more efficient in the way that you manage your campaigns. Number 10, ad analysis. You can run better ads with ad analysis. So if you're running ads in Google AdWords, what happens is if you rotate your ads, you can get better results by turning off the poor performing ones and doubling down on what's working. But the problem is that if you don't go in there every single day and pay attention to them, if you don't use statistics to make the call as to whether you should show an ad or not, then you're going to be in trouble. You're not actually going to be able to turn off the right ads and you're not going to be very efficient. So yes, you can do it within Google AdWords. You can create ads, you can turn them on, turn them off, but you have to go in there every day to look at it. Or you can hire a tool to do this for you. And ad analysis is a great tool for managing the way that we turn on, turn off ads. You should check it out if you want to become more efficient with your ad copy testing. Why do we do this? Because we want to automate ad testing because we don't always log into AdWords every single day. And you're going to find a lot of these tools we talk about are to make you more efficient. And that's the why for a lot of these tools. Number nine, Scrapebox. This is an oldie but a goodie. Scrapebox is a desktop application that you can download. I believe it's Windows only. And you can use it to scrape the results from search engines, from different websites very easily. It pulls them into this interface and you can use it to generate hundreds to thousands of keyword ideas. Think outside of the box a little bit and get some really cool data that nobody else has because this is a desktop application. So it uses your own browser, your own computer to go out and harvest this information. And so it doesn't get shut down. It doesn't get banned by Google because it's using your own computer and it's hard to track somebody using their own computer to download something. Now, why do you want this tool? Because you want to generate tons of keyword ideas and maybe you want to think outside of the box with the way that you do analysis. Number eight, Google Analytics. Obviously, my favorite tool that's out there, Google Analytics is a killer AdWords tool in addition to just measuring everything on your website. Google AdWords reports in Google Analytics are awesome. If you look at the left-hand side here, you can see that there are tons of different reports that are exclusive to Google Analytics from Google AdWords. And you can see how your search queries are doing. You can see how your bid adjustments, you can see how pretty much everything is doing within Google AdWords using the Google Analytics interface, using the computation power of Google Analytics. You can see it all in there and you can make adjustments immediately. Plus you can do remarketing, you can do conversion tracking. There's all kinds of two-way integrations, cost data, all kinds of things you can pull in 
from Google AdWords into your Google Analytics account. And it works both ways. You can push stuff from Google Analytics into AdWords and have it make you more efficient without putting any more code on your site. So why do this? Because Google Analytics is a jelly to your Google AdWords peanut butter. Number seven, keyword tool. Keyword tool lets you put in any keyword you want to, and then it will scrape Google's auto-suggest results and find different variations of that same keyword. So I put in the word PPC training, and it found 194 different variations that start with PPC training and then has something else at the end. And I can use this to build both keyword lists as well as negative keyword lists if I want to block keywords in certain areas where I don't offer training. Why would you want this? Because you can scrape keywords from Google Suggest and you don't need to have a desktop app. You can use the keyword tool and you can pull it in there and it works and it works really well. Number six, SEM Rush. You can use SEM Rush for your all-in-one competitive research tool. And what you can do here is you can find how competitors are performing, what type of keywords they're bidding on, how much they're spending in their paid search campaigns, how much organic search reach they have, and then you can even use this to harvest keyword ideas by going after the keywords that they're already targeting. It works really well. It is the gold standard in the industry for competitive research. People love it. People swear by it. You need to check out SEM Rush if you want to get better at competitive research. Now, why would you want to do this? Because if you understand your competitor strategies, you're going to be more informed with the strategies that you put forth, and you're going to have better results because you're not just doing campaigns in a vacuum, assuming that everybody else is doing nothing. You actually can see what they're doing, make comparisons and improve upon what they're doing and improve your own strategy. Number five, AdWords scripts. It doesn't get more efficient than using a script to automate your AdWords. Now it's hard to visualize what AdWords scripts are, but think of it as every repetitive task that you're doing, every boring task that you are doing in Google AdWords, you can find a way to automate it. And you can say, here are the rules in which we operate. Here's our way of doing business. Here's our way of looking at campaigns. And we are going to run a script to basically lower the bid until we get to a certain position. Or we're going to use a script in order to turn off ads if they're not working as well as we want them to, if the conversion rate's too low or if our cost per acquisition is too high. AdWords scripts is a great way to become more efficient without doing a lot of extra work. You set up these scripts, you do it on a big account, and you can get some major result improvements by just turning off the things that aren't working and doubling down on the things that are working. Number four, Zapier. Now this is not an AdWords tool, but what it does is Zapier connects over a thousand apps to each other. And so one of the most common ones that you might want to use for Google AdWords is anytime that you get a new lead coming into your platform, you can put it into a Google Sheet and you can keep track of all the leads you generated from PPC. And then once they're in that sheet, you can do all kinds of stuff like you can move them to different channels. You can set up a notification on your Slack. You can email the lead to your client. There's all kinds of things you can do once you collect your leads. Now, there's not a direct Google AdWords integration, but there's a lot of things you can do with your AdWords data, with the results that come from AdWords that can make your AdWords performance, that can make your tasks even easier. And so why would you want to do this, even though it's not an AdWords tool and there's not a direct integration? Because you can automate just about everything else. And everything else is a big part of your job. It's a big part of our duties as PPC managers. And so we want to automate as much as we can. Number three, Keyword Planner. This is the tool from Google called Keyword Planner. Now it's hard to find. If you did a search for Keyword Planner, you may or may not be able to find it. So we put an easy handy link there, jefflytics.com slash planner. You put in either your website, some root keywords you want to look at, or just a list of keywords you want to put out there, and then they're going to give you results. Now the reason why Keyword Planner is really nice is because it gives you both the keywords, it gives you the search volume and your suggested bid. Now I'll often take these suggested bids with a, with a grain of salt, but it does give you an idea as to what they expect you to spend if you want to show up really high on the results. And as you can see here, advertising on AdWords for PPC course is very expensive. And so you use these tools in order to determine whether it's worth your efforts or not. So why would you do this? Because you want to generate keyword ideas directly from the source. Google has a bigger data set and more advertiser data than anybody else out there. So sometimes you want to go direct to the source to get the information. Number two, another Google tool, AdWords Editor. This is my favorite tool of all time. It's basically the central nervous system of all of your campaigns. You can put all your campaign data in here. You can set your bids. You can take a look at your keywords. You can copy things. You can create single keyword ad groups, which we just talked about in our last video. You can pretty much do anything that you want to 
within Google AdWords Editor. And then once you've done your changes, once you've made everything ready to go, you can upload those changes into your Google AdWords account and you can push them live on the internet. So I love Google AdWords Editor because it does pretty much everything that I need it to do. And it replaces the need to go in and use a web interface, which is a lot less efficient. And it replaces that and it has a lot of cool features that you can use for moving things around, copying and pasting and making your campaigns better. So why should you use this? Because it's an amazing interface into Google AdWords. It's a direct connection into Google AdWords. It's made by Google, and that means that it just works versus using third-party tools, which sometimes don't work as well, or they're relying on APIs. They don't have that direct connection. It doesn't work nearly as well. A lot of times it's slower. So we'll invest in other tools to try to become more efficient, but it actually makes us slower because we took away all the nimbleness that we have in being able to make really fast decisions and act quickly in order to improve our campaigns. Finally, the number one tool, and this might feel like a cop out to some of you, it's your brain. Why? Because humans are smarter than tools. No tool is gonna make you better without the intelligence, without the smarts, without the strategies that know how to use them. And machines aren't gonna be able to beat us for the next 10, 20 years. You are gonna be smarter than machines for quite some time. So use your smarts first, use your brain, then use tools to expand your ideas. That's my final calling to you. No tool is gonna save you if you have a bad strategy. No tool is gonna make you more efficient if you don't even know what you're trying to do in the first place. They're just gonna get you further away from getting the results that you want. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip and this insight into 10 tools that you can use for PPC. Make sure you subscribe to our PPC course newsletter at ppccourse.com where you're gonna get weekly PPC tips.